Assalamualaikum my dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to niebs home school and nasma akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift dear students today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 4 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 5 healthy lifestyle let's see today's topic Our today's topic is chapter 5 and this is lecture number 1 of annual term and today's HW number is 1 number HW. So dear students let's begin the class. Look at here this is chapter 5 and the name of this chapter is healthy lifestyle and this is your page number 34 this is page number 34 of your science book today at first we will read this chapter and then later we will do fill in the blanks of this chapter first point here is our healthy lifestyle our healthy lifestyle it is very important for us to have a healthy lifestyle a healthy lifestyle helps to keep and improve our healthy health and well-being a healthy lifestyle helps to keep and improve our health and well-being the best way to stay healthy is to follow the rule of good health and live a regular lifestyle the following are good habits to keep our body healthy eating balanced diet we must have to eat balanced diet to maintain good health every kind of food provides different nutrients that our body needs we should eat a balanced diet along with enough safe water to maintain good health now now come to here this is page number 35 regular exercises regular exercise and playing sports strengthens our heart muscles and bones it also makes us feel more confident and sleep better look at here this is a picture this uh, they are playing so this is one kind of exercise playing is one kind of exercise adequate sleep we need adequate sleep to give our body time to recover and grow we should have a regular bedtime for having a good sleeping time to relax we need a time to relax to get away from the stresses of everyday life so that we can start our work again with energy a hobby like listening favorite songs reading books or working in the garden can help reduce our stress personal hygiene we have to take care of our body to keep it neat and clean we should take bath with clean water and soap regularly we should wash hands before and after meals and brush our teeth after meals we should we have to change clothes regularly and take care for the skin hair nails eyes and ears it is important to balance all these habits rather than putting emphasis on one habit now students come to here this page here is waterborne diseases waterborne diseases what is waterborne diseases waterborne diseases are the diseases caused by taking water contaminated with germs you can mark this line this line is important water dis waterborne diseases are the diseases caused by taking water contaminated with germs 
and you can see here is a picture you can see water can be contaminated like this way this water is not good for our health and now come to here this page 37 number page look at here water can be often contaminated by urine and stools of animals or people conta containing germs such as bacteria we use water for drinking preparing foods bathing washing or brushing teeth we get waterborne diseases if we use contaminated water in these purposes waterborne diseases are easily transmitted to people look at here this is a picture contaminated water can cause diseases and look at this picture transmission of germs from stool to our body like this way now come to here this page 38 number page types and symptoms of waterborne diseases contaminated water can causes many types of diseases including diarrhea cholera dysentery jaundice and typhoid the symptoms of most waterborne diseases are loose motion vomiting fever and stomach cramps if we suffer from diarrhea we should take oral saline oral saline is available in market besides oral saline can be prepared at home by using a pinch of salt and a handful of molasses or sugar with half liter safe water look at here this page this is the procedure of how will you make oral saline at your home now come to here prevention of waterborne diseases the best way to prevent waterborne diseases is to stop the transmission of germs some measures to prevent waterborne diseases are given below use of safe water we have to use clean and safe water for drinking preparing foods and bathing we can prepare safe water by filtering boiling and using water purifying tablets washing hands we should wash hands with soap and safe water before eating preparing food and after using toilets or plain keeping toilets clean we have to use hygienic toilet and to keep toilet clean after using it in order to prevent waterborne diseases students now come to here 39 number page here is a filling the blanks and uh, for your better understand i have written here here is total four filling the blanks of this chapter today we will solve this one number here is waterborne diseases spread through dash water waterborne diseases spread through contaminated water answer is here contaminated water and the spelling of contaminated is c o n t a conta m i n a t e d contaminated water two number here is cholera dysentery and typhoid are dash disease cholera dysentery and typhoid are water borne disease water borne disease answer is here water borne disease water borne spelling is w a t e r b o r n e water borne disease three number filling the blanks here is a dash lifestyle helps to keep and improve our health and well being answer is a healthy lifestyle a healthy lifestyle helps to keep and improve our health and well being then you will write here healthy healthy spelling h e a l t h y healthy now four number this is the last one we can prepare safe water by boiling filtering and using dash and using purifying tablets answer is here purifying tablets purifying spelling is p u r i f y i n g purifying tablet t a b l e t tablet
so dear students i hope you have understood now your hw this is uh, hw number 1 and your hw will be fill in the blanks here is total four filling the blanks that means 1 to 4 is w number 1 filling the blanks 1 to 4 here is total 4 filling the blanks it will be your hw so dear students i hope you have understood today's topic you practice it at home and do your assign sw in your sw copy So dear students stay home and well see you again in our next class